Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Justin and I are back out on the shooting range and here's what we have for you all today. This is for our Escape from Tarkov uh, game players. I've been looking at that game. I don't play it, but it is so cool. I've been watching videos of other people playing it and I love it. I'm gonna have to get into that. But it gave me this idea here. Here, where'd that come from? But it gave me this idea to try some level four body armor against some of Escape from Tarkov's 5.56 five, rounds. So we got this body armor here. This is level four body armor, a uh, nice ceramic type plate. Now it says in the game that the M995, which is this black tip right here, will go through this armor on the first shot. We're gonna see. You guys also in the game have level five body armor. Uh, in the real world, there is no level five unless you're probably in a tank or a MRAP vehicle or something, then you're at a level five body armor. But here's the rounds we got for you guys today. We're gonna shoot a regular ball round and we got a green tip. I don't think those are in the game, but we got them. We're gonna try it against this level four. Then we got this one here. This is the M855A1. EPR round. This is an enhanced performance round. And then we got the world's most expensive 5.56 five, round. This is the M995. Has a small tungsten core in it. And these cost, like I said, on the real market about $100 a piece. I know you guys are like, hey, I can get them from Peacekeeper all day for 15 bucks. Not in the real world. $100. But we're going to try it on this level four armor. So let's get going. I don't give up. First round against this body armor is just going to be your standard ball round. Let's see what happens. Ready? I put a nice little pocket in there. Clear. That, for a, a ball round that put in a pretty deep freaking hole, man. I got this body armor from Body Armor Megastore. Bam! Um, I wonder if they got it from Wish. Cause that's pretty crazy for just a regular, regular round and you can see, put a good size bulge on the back. All right, and you can see right there, level four. Stand alone. Okay, so we're gonna try the, uh, the green tip round. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. So next round is gonna be a green tip. I'm gonna aim for the bottom right corner. Yeah, I'm sure you're saying, well, you shot it once, you compromised the whole thing. Yeah, you know, we've shot plates before, and there's numerous other videos where they, these plates will take tons of rounds before something will actually go through. So we felt the bottom right corner, it's, it's still really solid. It's not like it's fractured and turned into dust or anything. So we'll see if this green tip will actually make it through. Like my hat says, we're just gonna send it. Good? Clear. That made a pretty good dent in that one too. Oh, it's got <laughs> two big bulges. Dirty mines. Anyways, let's check it out. Whoa, that got 
all the way to the freaking back piece. Check that out. All right, so our green tip, it did more damage, obviously, than the ball round. Still, again, you can see bulge there. Okay, now we're on to the EPR round. We'll try that one up here in the top left corner. Here we go. All right, so now it's time for the EPR round in the upper left corner of this plate. And I know it has a steel core, but I'm not sure if it's a mild steel core, if it's a hard steel core, if it's actually hardened. So if, if you can let us know in the comments, that'd be super helpful. All right, let's see what it does. Hopefully we can get some deep penetration on this one. You ready? Send it! Nice. Let's go check it out. Clear. Huh. Well, this is pretty cool. So it looks like the green tip round actually did better than the EPR round. Kind of about the same. So far, this body armor's held up. That's, that's three hits. Three different types round, three speeds, blah, 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 and it hasn't gone through. So let's move on to the one everybody's been waiting for, the M995 with the tungsten core. Let's see if it'll go through this level four body armor that's been compromised by three rounds. Here we go. All right, time for the M995. Let me get this $100 bill out of my pocket, and then we'll see what it does to this plate. I'm going to be hopeful. Let's say it goes through. Hey, chamber, no problem. Kind of had a couple dents in the case. All right, you ready for this? Go for it. Oh, well, let me adjust my monopod. Here we go. Clear. I don't know, I don't think it did. All right, let's check this out, man. It did not, it did not go through. What? Nope. Okay, so this is not Wish body armor. So that's pretty impressive for you uh, Escape from Tarkov guys. You need to write the uh, video creators and say, hey man, you gotta give us at least two rounds on this on this armor from the M995. So the level four, four rounds, um, it was compromised and none of them went through. Not even the M995, which is impressive. We are gonna do a video with level four with the 308 rounds. We got an M993, the EPR ball round, and we'll figure out something else for you guys too. But we got that coming. So what we wanna do if you look at this body armor, it has smooth lines in it. I don't know if you can see that there, Justin. So it has smooth lines, and it looks like it's um, stacked pieces of tile, which is kind of cool, because I've seen some of this ceramic body armor where it's one solid piece. So if it gets hit, it shatters. It's still in the casing, but it'll shatter and be more compromised. So this stuff looks like it's a bunch of little squares. So we're gonna cut it open and show you guys what the inside of this looks like. Hang tight. Well, it's definitely gonna get dull now. They could barely cut their packing tape right now. <laughs> Just use the tip. Now you're gonna cut yourself and it's gonna be all my fault. You'll have blood on your hands, Justin. Not the first time. Yep. Some cool stuff. Peel it. 
Yeah, it'd help, but get a camera. I know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's pretty smart. So they're separate little pieces. Pretty ingenious idea. That's pretty cool. I figured it'd be a weak spot, but it's gonna work. And they are glued together too. Let's see if we can get one of these out. All right, look at that. That's that's pretty smart, man. That way you don't compromise the whole thing. So each time it gets hit, it wasn't compromising the second impact. Hmm. Genius. Genius. So this is the same body armor we'll try on the 308. Uh, as soon as all that stuff comes in, what? Well, not that plate. Well, not this plate, yes. <laughs> um, we'll try this. Oh, it looks like some kind of Kevlar strand maybe or something. I don't know what that is. It's pretty good stuff. I'm impressed. So we're only shooting from about 20 yards. Um, we might have to try a long distance one. And um, maybe we'll go out to Texas Plinkins place, Brandon. That dude's a good long shooter. Take some of this stuff out there, see how he does with some long range shooting at some body armor. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all like this. Um, don't forget to pick up your t-shirts. We got a lot of t-shirts. That stuff goes all back into our videos, guys. I'd like to thank uh, Hunting for Connections for spreading the word there and helping us get this channel out there. And um, our patrons, our patrons are huge. We just thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you guys for supporting us. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We're at 64,000 right now, which is really cool. We appreciate it. So hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we'll be back.